I did a fine is just uh, to organize the things into these boxes, into these tags. If you want to create these tags, it's just this tick note that you write something. For example, like this. If you middle click, uh, right click, and you can select large, or or in this case, I use the medium. And you can just middle click and say hide background, and then it's going to give you this. Just to, from distance, you can see your scene very organized. Um, now, now, what else did I do? I created this camera. It's important to bring a camera very early in your, in your setup so you can see from the camera perspective what do you need to, to, to see and where you need to put um, efforts on. So uh, here is the camera. This is my shot, so it's loading like that. This is the view. But what I need is a simulation here and a simulation there. Can I use a grid and just add white water? Yeah, sure, I could. But it's still close enough for me to see that we might see very interesting things happening here and nothing really interesting here, here like uh, as with the same dynamics and variations that we have here. So i rather have a low-res sim, and I'm going to show you this new sim is much faster to simulate, and they're going to blend it nicely with our sim. So yeah, this is the camera. Um, the camera shake is just like... Um, is a combination of, of a few things. Here is the translation. Here is just the rotation and the camera shake is just middle uh, right click. You come to motion effects and then add noise and then you can control the noise just to give like some uh, subtle camera shake uh, that I wanted to, to have in here. Okay, now let's start building another simulation in the side here i want something around this area what we're going to do we're going to copy all these guys in here and let's rename everything so instead of having this as initial i want to have wave tank side l left just to be like the left side and this is the top so for the left side I want to let me rename all that so and sim side L side L. okay let me disable that and let's dive in here the spectrum is the same it should be the same because the spectrum is not constrained to the area. It's like uh, infinite, like it's a world space. So this spectrum is going to, if you move, it's going to work um, continuously on the, the other side. So first, let's uh, increase our simulation to 0.6. Uh, in this, I would match more or less what you have in your low res sim for the, before the boat simulation. Wherever you had that, you can use like maybe 0 0.1, if 0 0.6, not much. Uh, in here, I want to change a few things. Like uh, here, I want to do like 45. And we keep, and I want to translate that to 38.8. It's just because I, I tested these numbers. It's just to give some overlap. You can see here it's overlapping a little bit is that what we want and maybe here 0.65 to be exactly what i had just to have a little bit more overlap um, we keep everything else the same and yeah i think this is it we don't change the spectrum so we keep this we keep this the same as we have. 
inside the the dub let me yeah see if it's disable yeah it is disable we're going to keep the same thing but we also going to have like something else here and this is very interesting because uh, what we want is for this simulation that we're going to have in the side the waves are coming from here right like from 45 degrees angle more or less so when they pass along i want them to influence the starting point of the simulation in these areas so we want to affect them by the velocity of this simulation that we have so to do that we can use like a, a pop advect by volumes note and this we're going to update the force we're going to use the valve and what we want to grab is we need to come to here let me go in here and the fluid wave tank fluid I think we have like a out valve no or no let me go back here I think it's in here that we have extracted the valve the velocity oh yeah I forgot to <laughs> to name it so let me place a new let's call this out valve And let me call this guy as well out sur as surface. I will copy this. What's that inside? Oh not this in here. And this is what we want to advect by. I want to increase the the not treat as wind and I want to increase this to two just to add more force to, to that and that's basically it everything else we're going to keep the same we don't need the collision of the boat so it's going to save us time for the simulation so I'm going to just grab like this we can delete this guy this is already linked properly and we can keep everything as this And if we go here, we come here, we need to rename that to compress side L. Add vector. Well, just to keep um, them. Because we are just so we remember that we are advecting from this simulation. And if we change the simulation for some reason, we need to change that. But yeah, we can just cache this out. And let's see uh, and save to the correct spot here. And, and that's it. So I think we are fat. I'm not forgetting anything. No, no, no. We can use this. So it's very easy to set different simulations in these areas because just translating and using that, um, and that's key. Okay, thank you and see you in the next one. I'm just visualizing the particles, and you see that this one is already distorted to the correct position with the big geo. This is the flat one that was just simulated. And you see what it matters is that like, you see this line of this wave, it continually goes on to this and here the another one so it matches you can imagine that once we we do the same treatment as this one it's going to match properly because the lines of the spectrum aligns properly even this one you see like this one is going like that and you can see it continues in here and this other one the big one going like that continues like this so it, and here as well you have like this other one in here so you're directing the velocity of this uh, into this uh, simulation
and also you have like the same spectrum that drove this one so it just helps for this beginning to match properly that was good so we can reuse all the nodes that we set like let me just uh, create a node and let's call this out bell and again out sir okay we have both of them let's see if they are working this should be much faster as well because it's lower resolution and yeah it's working we have the fin layer it's working properly so i already renamed that and and i cached this out already so yeah this is the results that i have it's great yeah you see the alignment in here that's awesome so that's what we need next we need to flat edges but for that i want to just do a little transformation on this now that we have like enough overlap to to kind of like uh, have this transition because that's what we wanted we can just slightly transform that i want to give a little bit of transformation let me collect both of these over here and let me transform maybe we need positive a little bit i did some tests like 2.31 is more or less what i want in here for it to proper align with that um let's see it in action so we use the same transformation the same uh, spectrum so let me just go to here and do this just to see it's flat you see it's flattened because we are using a procedural way of getting the bounding box of that so it's working without even touching we just reusing the whole thing and uh, the spectrum with that give us back the distortion now it's going to align once we we give like um once we distort that it's going to align properly i hope uh, here i think there is not going to be okay you see it's that distortion is going over there so i just refined a little bit the transformation there increasing that to 31593 the the little transform that we placed here and then now we have it seamless you see how good it is and imagine from the camera and from the render with white water you just can't see where one seam starts and the other one ends it's just seamless and we have like this kind of LODs because this one has high res this one has low res but you, you it just works you know it's so great now let's do the one from the top and we're going to do the same thing yeah we can keep like that for now copy all that wave tank i think this is top center because it's going to be the top center of everything top center replace this to top center all right let's go into the into here same thing applies uh this one we are going to change right like um the dimensions and also the resolution so that's the the one i'm going to increase that to seven you can go a little bit more if you feel like 
because the area of this one is going to be bigger as well. So I want to make this 80 and this 50. This I want to be 20. And this one I want minus 49.4169. Just because I had this, uh, I, I, I probably used the manual handles to just get like some overlap and end up with that. I just want to keep that because I tested this. So uh, awesome. We have now a larger area covering everything and that what we're going to change you might want to even go even lower lower res on this one because it's much bigger it's fine it's further away it's, you won't notice for sure so don't worry with that i will keep mine as seven zero it's good um, this one we can't advect velocity on it but doesn't real matter because what happens for this one is that the velocities from here are pushing from here to there like so so the velocities are, are on this first thing are pointing like that way most of the velocities are going that way it would matter in this case of this seam that we had because the velocities from here were affecting the starting point of this to make it nice but the velocities of this doesn't need to because you have enough area for the velocities to pick up until they reach here, they're already matching more or less what we have here. You might want to, add, to create this one first and then add back the velocity from that into this as well. But because it's further in the back, I don't think you ever notice much. It wouldn't make a difference. But sure, um, if you want, do this one first and then in the advection, you also use the advection velocity from this one into here, and it helps even more. But I don't think we 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 got a really good result for this one, so I don't think you need to. Let me erase and let me deselect. Okay. So yeah, um, once we jump right in, we need to delete this guy. We don't have the advection for this. We don't need the advection for that. Everything else is the same and we are ready to go. We can just come in here, come and say top center and cache this out. Great, I'll cache and come back. Welcome back. So here is the back part. And it's matching really nice, this area. You see, look like one single thing. You can see a little bit of this line. You won't notice for sure because this is more about the attributes than the displacement itself. The displacement here is just like some little bit of overlap that you won't notice. That's really good. Uh, so you now have from the camera view a very nice big area seam and you have only high res on the first section uh, what i did here is the same thing exactly from the other ones the transform is just a little bit different i have this value pushing it backward negative z x and zero there and that's all that i have it's working nicely so now we have everything set for us Next step, I guess, is just to start working in the white water for this first section. And then we work on the big ocean and how to integrate the big ocean with those that simulated area. The big ocean we won't simulate, of course, but we're going to simulate just white water in a very efficient manner. See you there.